Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hey, you guys know why we're all here tonight. Uh, the city's asked us to come out here. The gay community's asked us to come out here. And the business community's asked us to do this. Uh, because of all the crimes associated with with the hustlers, uh, robberies, homicides, just general ripping off, uh, they've asked us to come out and, and uh, arrest as many of these hustlers as we can. Everybody's worked the hustler operation before. Tonight, uh, Jim Campbell's going to be our uh, operator. Uh, we're doing a little different. We're going to have a, uh, a limousine, which we've never done before. Uh, the fall of vehicles and the arrests are going to take place the same way. Okay, and as far as the signal, he's so, going to call you up, you're going to put your blinker on, and we're right. going. Same way. Okay. Same signal that we always use. He's okay. just going to get me on the phone and, and say, let's go get to the off. hotel or and whatever. And all we're doing is right turns. Right turns. Yeah. You can let me play these guys. Sometimes I'm going to have to string them out a lot longer than ordinarily. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, don't uh, come down. As soon as, 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 soon as, we, see, as, soon as we see the signal, then that's when we know... Yeah. You've got yeah, everything cool. gone. Let's go out and do it. It's going to have to rely on the non-voice signal, 10-4. All right. Well, what you can also do is, once you've done your pass-by or something, Go ahead and turn your radio off. That way, uh, all you've got to say is we're gonna we're gonna try to go for it now, and uh, you're off the radio. Ten four. Yeah, ten four. I'll just do a radio silent like we did before. What we're gonna have to do, Willie, is stay off, kind of stay off Santa Monica Boulevard, and just use like say Fountain uh, until they get something, and uh, do it that way. Okay, 94 boy, the uh, limo's in place. Guy's walking up to the vehicle now. What's going on? Uh, not much. Jim? Jim, Justin. Justin? Yeah. I'm Justin, what's uh, you, man of the world? Mm hmm I am. Would you like to uh, see a lot of it? Sure. You want to come in? Where are you from, Justin? I'm from Sicily. Sicily? Yeah. I'm Sicilian. I'm uh, more inclined to come and go as I feel and stuff like this. I don't love it. We got a bite. They're uh, rolling uh, northbound Detroit. Make sure we get a signal first. Yeah, 10 4. Be advised, we've got a little, uh, looks like a colt behind them, so we're rolling now. Are you a working man? Yeah, I yeah. am. Working man has usually a price that I don't want to deal with. What do you, I mean, as how much? Yeah. 60 bucks. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. All right. Okay. What do you do for 60 bucks? Anything you want. Okay, what do you have in mind? What do you, what's your preference? I like giving I like getting Get Giving Getting right. So, what do you feel like tonight? I mean, are you into any exotic crap? Sure. Anything? Sure. Do you, uh, you have any preference as far as motel, hotels, or backseat of cars? This will be fine. This will be fine? Sure. Okay, let me, uh, let me talk to my driver. We got a signal. We got a signal. We got a signal. We're uh, going southbound on Sycamore. We're going to stop on Sycamore. What's the matter, John? All right, come on out. Step out. Step out. Step out. Put your hands on the car. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands on the car. Just spread them out a little. Hey, don't I have to have money to be arrested? What am I under arrest for? You're under arrest for prostitution. For prostitution? Why was I prostituted? Just came around the corner. Looks like he's going to be uh, going up to the, the vehicle. He's going up to the door now. Going for a ride? Do I know you? I doubt it. Do I know you? You a cop? Am I a cop? Does it look like a cop car? Who knows? Huh? Who do you think? Uh, I don't know. Can you prove that to me? Well, how can I prove that to you? Let me in. 
Okay, he's getting inside now. You working? Hmm? Are you working? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Do I know you? Huh? I mean, I don't even know you. I don't know if you have anything. Do you have anything? If you get in my car and you want me to give you a kiss? Just a lip touch. Yeah, but it's, it's out of the ordinary. Is this, is this some game you play? Huh? No, Are you I playing like... a game? No. I just like it. I want to get a plane. Okay. But I mean, I'm, I'm not used to that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a man who, who moves a lot of money, and I'm used to having to give people kisses. You know, I usually don't give kisses. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, it's, I'm bewildered by it. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, have you ever gotten a car and wanted to kiss somebody right up the top? Yeah. You do it all the time? No. Just now? Yeah. This is a test? No, that's a test. I mean... I feel like I feel like I'm I on like the spot. Guys. I'm I'm dealing with a situation where I'm looking for something quick and you know you want to play games. I don't know how to play these kind of games. I wouldn't call it a game. It's not a game? No. And what is it? I find you attractive. Okay. Well, I stopped here because I was hoping you would find me attractive. They're uh, still talking. This guy seems a little more cautious than the one before. He's they're still talking. Everyone wants a good time. You know, sometimes good times are expensive. I think I'll pass. Nice talking to you. Uh -huh. How about your other friends? Uh, which one? Well, who's ever interested, you know. Okay. All right. This guy is good. Okay, we've got a guy walking up to the uh, to the limo now. Okay, door uh, opened up. Uh, the guy just got inside. Hi, hey, Steve. Jim. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Hey. Well, you know, I'd like to get to the nitty gritty of things. Because I realize that I have time, yeah. money's time, sure. people have time. Yeah. You want to make money, you yeah. got things to go, sure. places to do. Yeah. Okay. okay, Steve. You got that out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you hustle for? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean,. I get different amounts, you know, it's just like, I don't know, because I don't know what... Okay, give me an idea, because money's no value. 50? What do I get for 50? What do you want? What do you want? Well, you tell me, because I want to know what your specialty is. Anybody real in there? Hey, <laughs> one at a time, buddy. Huh? One, one at a time. time. Uh, yeah. Take care. Okay. Well, mostly I like to get and get That's sick. So nice. Do you want to? Do you have a place we can go to? Mm -hmm. Do you have anywhere in mind? I don't know. How about? Do you have a preference in a hotel, a motel, or a no. taxi, or a car, or anything? Like that? Yeah, anything. Okay. So we got this thing down right. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna give me for sixty bucks. Well, I'm gonna give. I get a bonus. That's cool. Okay. That's, I mean, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. He's got a guy in the uh, in the car now. So they're uh, going northbound on Orange to uh, Lexington. So, uh, tell me about yourself, Steve. I'm 20 years old, yeah, from Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. And actually, I came out here to get into acting, but I kind of got strung, you know, astray by that out there and guys and drugs and stuff. So right now, I'm getting ready to go through a AA program and stuff and get off drugs. So I want to get away from drugs mm -hmm. get my together. Because as soon as I have my pictures done, I'll have an agent for commercials and associates. And um, so I'm going to try to get my Together. Do you ever have problems as far as people, uh... Wait a minute. Sheriff's Department, get out now. See get out. You're arrested. Get out. Turn around, put your hands on the floor. He's the one me and uh, Fred Hemmaker arrested with that, uh... LAPD guy. LAPD guy that oh, night. Really? Yeah. Yep. Up on, uh... Laurel Canyon and Hollywood Boulevard. The other guy was good. Sir. Oh, the other guy knew me, though. Oh, he knew he you? He wanted me to give him a kiss first. He knew you, huh? Tell him, tell him get in front of us right now. Yeah, go ahead and get in front of us now. Okay, we're going to pass you on the right. Okay, move over. What do I call you? Erica. Erica? Is Erica your real name? Easty, we are coming up Erica T. Angelo. Angela T. Angelo? Erica. Erica. And what state are you from? Mexican. Texas? Well, I mean, you I'm Mexican. Mexican. I've uh, been in Texas for a while. And, well, um, I'm tired about it. <clears throat> Is he going to stop or what? 
Okay, stop, Willie. Well, in, in... Erica, you're under arrest. Mamita, sal. Hi. Sal. Sal. How you doing? Sweet. Sheriff's Department. Bring him out. You're under arrest. Come on. Bring him out. Erica's probably a guy, fellas. Is this a guy? Huh? Any weapons? Huh? No, 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 no. Nothing? Transformer. No weapons? More than they meet the guy. You got a driver's license? No. No identification? No. A bottle? Do you have a penis? No. Do you have a penis? Of course, you want to search? Yes, I got it. You just, got a penis? Yes, you got a penis? Yes. That's all I need to know. Mailman. Nice talking to you. Yeah, Rusty, we're at the uh, parking lot. We can't see him uh, talking. It looks like he's got somebody inside the car. How you doing? Good. Jim. Snake. Steve what? Snake. Snake? Yeah. Snake what? Your first name's Snake? No, my first name's Clint. Oh, huh. He's got a passenger. He's got a passenger. 10-4. Yeah. Well, give me an idea what the game is. You gotta be the heat. Huh? Either heat. Does it look like something the heat would own? They, huh? They, they try every play action. Okay, he's uh still he's westbound uh, Santa Monica approaching uh, Gardner. Well, Snake, what's on the menu? Game for anything. The game for anything? Yeah. I'll have to get to the point on $50. it. Fifty dollars. Fifty bucks? Yeah. That's where you go? Yeah. What do you do with fifty? Whatever. Give me a suggestion. Anything. Anything for 50? Yeah. Except for s &M. Okay, you're not at s &M, yeah. but you'll do 50? Yeah. Anything for 50? Yeah. Looks like he's going to go uh, north on Gardner. I don't know, John. This is not very good spot. You know. Hey, John. Sheriff's Department. Oh! The other side, under arrest. Come on out. Prostitution. Come on out. Keep your hands where we can see them. Come on out. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. What's has got here? Cocaine? Cocaine pipe? Uh-oh. Circus ring. Look who it is. Earl. Mr. Jackson, what's up? What's up? How you doing? I just got out. How much time? You, an hour ago. You got out an hour ago? Yeah. What were you hooked for? Prostitution. Oh. You were hooked for prostitution and, and you got out an hour ago? He just got out of jail for prostitution. He did six months. I don't care. I think you better pick another line of work. You're not too good at this. Do you still want to return or no? How, how many, about now? How many arrests have you had for this? 14. 14? I don't think the judge is going to be too happy to see you back in there after 14 times. What do you think you get this time? A bullet? You get a year? It doesn't really matter because when they let me out, I'm going to be right back out here again. Yeah. You're going to wait, do what? <laughs> if he lets you out, you're going to be back out here again? Somebody else is going to hook you up and go back in. Division 5 is once again in session. The Honorable Judith Stein, Judge Presiding. People call Officer Campbell, excuse me, Deputy Campbell. You do solemnly swear that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guide. I do. Thank you. What is your occupation, please? I work for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, stationed at West Hollywood Sheriff's Station. How long have you been so employed? 24 years. Uh, directing your attention to the date of October 21st, 1989, what was your particular assignment on that date? On that particular date, I was working in the Special Problems Unit Organization on a, a project of uh, male hustlers. Um, when you say male hustlers, what do you mean precisely? Um, males that sell themselves for sex on a boulevard. Are you familiar with the procedure used by these hustlers um, to solicit their clients, so to speak? Yes, sir. Are you familiar with the problem that exists in West Hollywood in that particular area? Yes. And are you familiar with that problem by working in the area yourself? Yes, sir. Um, have you, in fact, arrested um, what you call male hustlers in that area for hustling and related crimes? Yes, I have. 1989, were you in uniform or plain clothes? Plain clothes. And were you in a vehicle? Yes, I was. What type of vehicle were you in, please? It was a stretch limo. 
Were you the passenger or were you the driver? I was the passenger. Who was the driver, please? Sergeant Powell, the uh, operations sergeant. Where was um, Mr. Tribble, the defendant, when you first observed him? Mr. Tribble was standing on the northwest corner of Santa Monica, right at Poinsettia Place. Is that where you were? Yes, I was. What happened next? I looked up at the uh, suspect and he stated, uh, I stated to him, I said, uh, what are you doing? What happened after that? And he said, can I get in? What happened next? And I said, yes, you can. And I moved over and all of a sudden he didn't come through the right passenger door. And within a couple of seconds, he comes, he opens the left passenger door and gets in next to me. At that particular point, told him that he surprised me and a conversation went back and forth about if he's out hustling, I want to know about it because that's what I was looking for because I'm a businessman. And he said, yes, he's out hustling and he charges 50 bucks. And what happened after he said he charged $50? And I said, well, what do you do for $50? And the men said, the defendant said, I do anything you want. And I said, what does that mean? And he says, says, whatever you're interested in, I'm interested in. For the record, would you state your name and spell your name, please? John H. Clark, C-L-A-R-K. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Ms. Hart. Thank you, Judge. What is your occupation, please? I'm the Chief Medical Officer for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Are you familiar with the procedure for withdrawing blood for the purposes of HIV analysis pursuant to court order, Penal Code Section 1202? Yes, I am. Based on the information before you, do you have an opinion as to um, Mr. Tribble's HIV status? Yes, I do. And what is your opinion? My opinion is that uh, uh, his HIV status is positive. Dr. Clark, I take it you have no quarrel with the results of the Smith Klein Biosciences Laboratory results in this case, do you? No, I do not. All right. Uh, you would agree that based on the test given the defendant here, it cannot be assumed from the results alone that the patient has AIDS? Will you agree with that? That is correct. Would you agree that it cannot be assumed from these results of this Smith-Klein test that the defendant will ever develop AIDS? I cannot make the assumption that he will, but certainly in all probability, based on the uh, best available data that we know about HIV disease, HIV uh, positivity and the sequence of the uh, disease itself that uh, it is a very good uh, chance that uh, he will go on to develop full-blown AIDS, at well, least based on what we know right now. People call Detective Brown. Where did you first see um, Mr. Tribble? In the West Hollywood jail. At some point, did you have an opportunity to um, request an interview with Mr. Tribble? Yes. Where did that interview take place? In the West Hollywood Station jail interview room. Was that at your request? Yes. I'd like to direct your attention to a specific portion of the interview. At some point during the interview, did the issue of AIDS come up? Yes. And who initiated that subject matter? I did. How did you do that? I asked him, uh, uh, he explained to me what happened the night of the arrest. When he got done explaining about the arrest, I asked him uh, about uh, AIDS, if he had AIDS or not. And he told me that Mr. Baker in the jail had told him uh, about six weeks ago that he uh, uh, was HIV positive for AIDS. Did you um, ask Mr. Tribble why, if he knew he had AIDS, was he um, still soliciting? Yes, I did. And what did he say, if anything? Basically, he doesn't care about anybody, and he hopes everybody gets AIDS. That's what it amounted to, in essence. Thank you. 